Parliament's Committee on Trade and Tourism proposed this new levy following a countrywide tour to study the tourism sector with the intention of discovering how much damage had been experienced in the sector due to COVID-19. Some of the findings revealed that the sector's earnings had dipped from 1.6 billion in 2019 to half a billion shillings in 2020. Additionally, the number of tourists had also fallen from around 1.5 in 2019 to around 473,000 in 2020. According to a member of the Trade and Tourism Committee, Rita Atkwasa, there was an urgent need to provide an intervention without formulating a new law. They asked us if we could look into the already provided for uh, um, clause in the law that says that every person traveling out of the country should be able to contribute 10%, not 10%, $10 of, uh, as they pay for their tickets to travel. The new levy, once passed by the House and accepted by the Finance Ministry, will be cross-cutting and taking in all travelers who use air transport to exit the country. With this levy, the committee determined how much should be paid and how the tourism sector players will benefit from it. That 70% of that total collection should actually be put to the disposal of the tourist actors to be able to utilize it to boost the sector. And we recommended that that money should go to Post Bank. Sector body Uganda Tourism Board as well as Uganda Revenue Authority will also benefit from the funds collected. Atkwasa says that there is precedent that a tourism levy is the way to go when it comes to supporting the tourism sector. I give a good example in Kenya. Theirs has even grown and you see how far they have gone in tourism. So which means there is already a success story, a best practice to it. We don't need to go very far to benchmark. So if Kenya has it and we do, then I think we'll be able to, to support the sector. It grows and makes more money. You know, business is money makes money. However, tourism sector players like Doreen Kansimi of Africa World Exploration believe that this intervention might not be what the sector needs at the moment. Kansime argues that what is critical is for government to attract back the tourists that have been lost due to the pandemic. How do we attract more travelers to our destination at this time? How do we encourage, how do we make people feel that it is safe at this time to travel to Uganda? Much as it's uh, uh, on the point of reviving the economy, but how about these tourists that come into the country from there they step in, in the country they are paying taxes indirectly, how much people have been surviving on these tourists. Because we are looking on how to increase the number of tourists in our country, Uganda. But again, if the country or the government is looking at imposing another kind of tax, I think that's uh, something that should be reviewed. The country also needs to encourage domestic tourism and address the challenges plaguing the country's tourism sector. Are we working on roads? Are we subsidizing rates are we supporting local lodge owners to attract the domestic market those are some of the things we should be doing at this time which in turn will support the reviving of this industry what remains to be seen now is whether government will take up this proposal joyce nakato ntv weekend edition <laughs>